your your shooting percentage obviously was incredible first three weeks of the playoffs good now not at that same level jimmy with shot with shooting percentage is it luck is it who's defending you or is there more than that that you've noticed in terms of your footwork which obviously you put a lot of emphasis in is there anything else you've noticed in terms of explaining it your ankle any factor no just some missed shots uh it's part of the game it'll get better um, but missed shots made shots we just gotta win because then nobody's paying attention to it um, which we will do i will be better um, because whenever i'm better we are better as a whole Tim on the left. Jimmy, Tim Reynolds, AP. I forgot to ask you yesterday, but um, there was a little bit of news in town uh, with Lionel Messi coming to Inter Miami. Um, as the football expert in, in the room and certainly on the team, what was your reaction when you heard that he was coming and what do you think that means for uh, soccer in this country? A lot of good. Um, obviously, he's one of the greatest players to play that beautiful game. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm so excited for the city of Miami to be able to have a player of that caliber here. Um, I'm excited for the city of Miami in so many different ways. Obviously, that's being in the finals and having the opportunity to do something special. Now that he's here, um, I think you know all the football side soccer fans from all over the world are going to come here and get an opportunity to watch him compete. So I'm glad he's here. Bobby, all here. Uh, Fabio Malavazzi, uh, NBA Brazil. Well, we talk about soccer. Let's talk about coffee. Uh, we went to visit your trailer yesterday. How you grade your coffee? Is anybody else on the team drinking your coffee? Uh, I grade it 10 out of 10, and nobody on my team can afford it, so they don't want to go over there and pay for it. Vince, in the middle. Just raise your hand. There you go. Vince Goodwill, Yahoo Sports. Jimmy, Dwayne was at the game last night sitting next to Magic Johnson courtside. You two spent that year together in Chicago, and it was a tumultuous year, but you said he kind of turned you on to heat culture. How important was that season you spending with him and maybe you growing as a player during that time? Uh, it was very important. Uh, and yes, I did grow as a player, but um, I grew as like a, a person slash leader because I just always remember the thing he told me um, more often than anything is everybody doesn't go about things the way that you go about it. But there is an organization out there that does, that being this one. Um, he just told me everything that um, the Heat are about was about winning. And he wasn't doing anything that he wasn't supposed to be doing. I'm just saying, you know, he had been a legend here, still is. And he was just saying, the reason he was who he was was because the way that they went about things here and he pointed me in this direction. Standing on the left side. Jimmy, hi, Valeria Rubino, Visport, Corriere Italy. Is it the resiliency, the character, the skills, or as you said, the art of not giving a damn? What makes you proud of representing the heat culture and what do you expect from this group tomorrow? Uh, obviously, I expect to win, um, but what makes me proud is these guys are never out of the fight. Um, they're so joyful um, because we're in this thing together through good and through bad. Um, and I'm, I'm proud of my guys for that. I love my guys for that. So tomorrow we're gonna come out with a lot more energy. We're gonna compete at a high level. And um, we're gonna get one at home. Mark, back left. Mark Spears, ESPN Zanscape. Uh, Jimmy, uh, where is Tyler at mentally in your conversations? Like how's he holding up? and? What kind of boost can you give you guys this late in the series? Uh, I mean, obviously, he's been huge in what we've done all year long. But I, I think his spirits are really high. He's doing everything that he can to come back and help. I, I don't know where he is in that process, but I see him working. I see him smiling. I see him being around the guys, which is good for him and even better for us. Um, and we want him out there competing with us. We always have. We always will. But whenever he's ready, He'll be back and he'll be better than ever. Dan, over here on the right. Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports. Uh, there's been a number of times where you've had to switch on to Jokic out at the perimeter. Uh, you know, I'm wondering his shooting ability, what does that do in your decisions to close out? It's got to be short on the ball. You know, kind of how do you go about that decision making process with a big who shoots it like that? Honestly, I can't even tell you the answer to it because he can shoot the ball, he can put the ball on the floor, pass the ball. Um, just got to do everything you can to stay in between him and the basket, trace the ball with both hands. Um, 
he's a hell of a player. So like he's he's been very very dominant in everywhere on the floor. Um, so you're closing out, you know, one of the best players in the world, if not the best player in the world. And it's a handful for anybody that's closing them out. Front left, Joe. Joe Barton, The Athletic. Jimmy, two things. Do you know Messi enough to, have you met him or know him enough to reach out, welcome to Miami or anything like that? Uh, can you leave me alone? I got like three more questions. Uh, I wouldn't say that I know him enough, but I have met him before. Um, will I reach out? Probably not. Um, I know he probably got a, a ton of stuff going on anyways. He's, he's coming over here um, to do something special um, for this city. Uh, I won't reach out. Kyle, if you don't leave me alone. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy that he's here, though. I really am, and I know that we will link whenever he's here. Michael, in the front. Uh, Michael Pino, the ringer. Uh, Bam screens are such an important part of your offense. Just what makes him so effective, and how does he make your life easier? Uh, I mean, he gets me open uh, a lot of the times. And then, you, you obviously, you have to guard him whenever he's rolling, popping. Um, and then when you get him the ball, he's getting the ball to everybody else and or finishing or getting to the free throw line. Um, he's been excellent throughout this entire playoff run um, throughout the entire series um, and throughout the entire season. So we need him to continually set screens, get out of transition, and do everything that he's been doing to help us win. In the middle, third row. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, Christian Palotia from Sanoma Media, Finland. Um, in the last game, it seemed like Denver uh, was more okay with playing you in that uh, drop coverage two on two and not helping as much from from the other positions and also when you made those long dribbles kind of Nash or Gretzky dribbles they didn't help out as much as, as they did in the previous game what's important in terms of if they keep doing that to how to get your team teammates involved as well uh, keep doing what I'm doing look to find my guys open on the perimeter um, maybe dribble on the perimeter for some hand off some uh, honestly I, I can't tell you I don't know. I got to go back and watch it. Um, but I know I'm going to follow my guys. I have to follow my guys if we want to win. So keep attacking and uh, get the ball to my guys so they can get shots on goal. On your left, third row. Deniz Aksoy from Esport TV Turkey. Um, so I talked to Emel Farag Yurtseven uh, from Turkey, and he said he's looking and who's ob he's observing every single move that you guys are making during the finals. He's learning. So what would you like to tell them that to teach them more every day, day by day, to make them improve themselves in their careers? Um, like being calm, not rattles, is like the best thing ever. Um, knowing that everything's going to be okay, everything's going to be just fine. As long as you give it your all, you go into it every day, knowing that you have an opportunity to do something special. Um, and that's what we're doing here. Um, we're having a lot of fun being and competing um, with one another. So that's what we do. Stay calm, stay collected, and go out there and do everything together. Over here on the right side. Jimmy, uh, Paul Antunes, CSPN Brazil. Um, everywhere you look, like in this organization, it seems like there's some kind of underdog story, right? Um, even with Coach Spo, the way he came up, and even Pat Riley, the way he became coach of the Lakers, and obviously um, a lot of players, the way they got to the league and, and everything. What do you think that does for the chemistry of the team to have all these people together? I don't think it does too much. I just think you have some really talented basketball players on the roster. You have some really genius coaches on the coaching staff and some um, super genius individuals in the front office. And um, they get everybody on the same page. They get everybody chasing the same goal. And they give everybody to give in to the team, you know, let go of itself and, and, and really buy into what we're doing here as a whole. Underdog or not, that's just what it is here. Um, and we love it. Last two questions on the left side. How do you evaluate your own your own performing? And if you have the opportunity to change something, what would you like to change? Um, I wouldn't change anything. Not one thing. Um, I continue to be who I am. We will continue to be who we are as a group, as a team. We go right here and we're going to compete together. We're going to win together. And um, we're going to be who we are. I wouldn't change a thing, though. 
Last question, standing on the left side. Hi, Jimmy Peter Ortiz on Fire Media Puerto Rico. I saw you were eating Puerto Rican food the other day. How was that mofongo and how was that experience? It was good. Um, Puerto Rican food, I'm, I'm, I'm a big foodie. Um, so any opportunity I get to go be around the city, enjoy food, um, enjoy really good company with, with people I don't get to see every day. I'm fortunate to do that. So I got a lot of love for um, all types of food, but for sure all the food around Miami. Thank you, Jimmy. Mm -hmm.